Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry for the weird angle, um, but I'm filming in my parents' room and I'm doing a really, really, really quick get ready with me video um, because I haven't made a video in a long time and I've just been really posting short films and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. My camera keeps falling <laughs> and I'm like propping you guys with a setting powder so you guys won't like keep scooting. But anyway, um, I'm going to start off with my long comb foundation, no primer. Actually, my skin is a little bit dry, so I'm about to go grab a moisturizer really quickly or some rose water, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I'm back, I just grabbed some rose water and my dad's lotion because I don't feel like putting anything serious on, but rose water is everything to me, and I love it, so I'm going to use it. Oh, so refreshing. And while the rose water is on my skin, I'm going to use a little bit of my dad's lotion. Um, I've ran out of moisturizer. And the one that I do have, it's really good for the skin, but it's you should put it on overnight because it's super moisturizing. So I kind of can't put it on. I mean, I can. It's supposed to be put on day and night, but I prefer to put it on um at night so yeah how have you guys been doing did you guys like that valentine's day video i posted before this video i really hope so because it was like a spur of the moment film that i wanted to do and i did it and i really liked it i'm gonna spray i always spray my brushes with rose water before i put my foundation on but i really I'm work like I've been really wanting to do more artistic videos and I am working on a poetry book so um, if you guys want to hear more news on that uh, let me know and I can totally make a video for it things that have changed um, I don't wear my hair curly anymore I don't wear my hair straight anymore I mean um, my hair is naturally curly and I usually just get like chemical process to keep it from curling, but I've stopped, I'm stopping doing that and, um, I'm just wearing my hair curly. I don't use heat on my hair, not even to curl my hair, even though I have a relaxer and I get pretty decent curls, you know, without using heat or any foams or any setting lotions or anything. So if you want a tutorial on how I do that, then just let me know cause I can film it. And all you literally need is rose water, vitamin E oil, you can use olive oil, um, whatever oil you want, but I definitely recommend vitamin E oil. And I don't, uh, to activate my curls, I don't use regular water. Regular water dries out your hair. Like you can spray rose water on your ankle and throughout the day, your ankle will not get ashy, but if you spray regular water on your ankle, it will get ashy because water dries out your hair, it dries out your skin, right? So I don't use that on my hair at all. Um, I just use rose water and uh, you can get rose water off Amazon or um, you can go to Walmart and get it, but make sure there's only, there's no more than three ingredients and the first ingredient should be purified water and then the second ingredient should be rose water like should be the rose essence and if those are not the first two ingredients do not buy it not real rose water i have a blemish on my cheek that i want to get rid of that you guys can probably see so i'm going to go in with this nyx palette this is my mom's palette it's pretty old too and i'm just going to put a little concealer over it I really can't see because I'm using the mirror for my caboodle. Plus I don't have my glasses on, so I'm really hoping this is working. And I'm gonna add a little light color over it just to help blend it. And there's not really any more blemishes that I'm too concerned about. And then I'm gonna go back over it with my foundation brush just to like add that little bit of foundation over it to help it blend better 
Okay, um, just in case I get questions for what dress I'm wearing, this dress is from Dolls Kill. Um, it's sold out, unfortunately, but it is coming back. It's came back, I think, two times, but I do think it's going to come back. I'm just going to use this um, coral and berry colored blush. I like to blend them together. This is from my mom's Coastal Scent palette that she put together. But yeah, I really love Dolls Kill's clothes. Their sugar throw line anyway. It's really pretty. Um, I've been really just wanting to dress like a cherub or a Wes Anderson character. So if you guys want to see a lookbook, I definitely will put one together for you guys if that's what you want. So now I'm going to go with my eyebrows. Um, I just use a black eyeshadow for my eyebrows and I don't arch my eyebrows or anything. So, um, yeah, I just literally, cause I have no eyebrows right here. I inherited that from my father. Thanks dad. Um, and so it's super hard for me to, I don't think I even have like a mirror to get close enough to. So I'm just going to kind of just look at the caboodle mirror and just kind of guesstimate where I want my brows to start and I usually bring them in just a little bit over here because um like I said there's no brow hair and I take whatever's left on the brush and kind of make a makeshift tail and thicken it a little bit and that's literally all I do to my eyebrows I like I said don't do much to my eyebrows um because I don't really care about them. I don't arch them or anything because I like them to look like fluffy caterpillars. Um, so yeah, just a personal preference, I guess. Just kind of do that. And I don't want my eyebrows to be so symmetrical because like it, they're never going to be symmetrical for me um, because they're just so different. So I don't really worry about that too much. I just want to get the initial eyebrow shape down. And then I go in and just um, blend out any harsh lines or anything. Just kind of blend those out. And go over it with my eyeshadow, my um, foundation brush. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is probably my eyes. So I'm going to use this brush. I'm so bad because I never clean my makeup brushes often. Um, I'm going to use, by the way, this is just a random black eyeshadow from, I don't know, it says Wear Infinity Studio Secrets Professional Black Eyeshadow in the color Lush Raven. I don't know, just grab any black eyeshadow. But I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Palette. Um, this is, palette is called the Naked Truth. And I'm going to, I only use this shade right here. I don't use any of these, just the shade. It's like a, uh skin tone color and I'm just gonna put this all over my eyelid and blend it okay also guys I privated a lot of my almost all of my videos that's because those videos were bad <laughs> now I'm gonna take this powder eyeshadow pearl Fizz. I got this in an Ipsy, but it's just like a shimmery champagne color. But um, yeah, I privated my videos because I want to make better videos for you guys. So if you guys have any video suggestions, please let me know. I didn't private those last two makeup videos I made because I really like those. Um, but yeah, sorry about that. Um, you know, I'm just trying to do better at my channel and make better videos. So yeah, um, I think I'm gonna, no, I'm not gonna, i usually, I like to, um, add this coppery color in my crease, but I'm not gonna do that today. Um, I guess we can do highlighter, and some, I have three different highlighters that I could possibly use. I can use this Rimmel London Good to Glow in Nothing Hill Glow. Oh, Notting Hill Glow. I could use this one, but that one's a little too messy. And I usually use this pink um, eyeshadow polish by Kaylin. Just mineral eyeshadow polish in the color Orchard. It's like a really pink color. And I usually use this in all my makeup videos. Or I can use this 
Glitter Goes Liquid Eyeshadow by NYX. And it's just like this really pretty goldy uh, champagne color. And I thought it'd be a lot more pink, but it's not. Um, but I'm just going to use this one because I really like this stuff. And so I'm going to put it here on my chin. Um, in the inner corners of my eyes. On my brow bones. And a little on my cheek, on the inner part. Because I have a square face shape and I want to, you know, emphasize the center part and blend it out with my finger. I actually don't like using brushes at all. So that's why I generally like to use my hands. And just blend it out, blend it out. It's gonna give you a really pretty glow. This one's a little too speckly for me. Sorry about that. I live on a street where motorcycle people and like people with fast cars like to drive super fast and they usually always crash. And it's crazy because there's a cemetery right across the street just waiting for them. Um, that was a little bit morbid, but the whole point is stop speeding guys. It's not cool and it's very deadly. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I should clean my hands off so that I won't get my dress dirty, but you know how it goes. So now I'm going to put some chapstick on because I usually wear a specific, like this mauve lipstick that's like the color of my lips, like the pink part of my lips. I usually wear um, a mauve lipstick that color, but it's in my purse, which is not in here. Now I'm going to use this old Wet and Wild Max Fantastic Eye Cat mascara cat eye mascara um and i'm going to put mascara on i love mascara the best way to put it on is you if you blink it on in my opinion and i like this mascara not because of the formula but because i like the shape of the wand it's super pretty it, see it has like that curved shape do you see mr craven in the background. I love his videos. He's like my favorite gamer besides my brother. And I'm just going to blink. Blink, 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 blink. Blink, 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 blink. I've been doing braid outs and stuff. Oh, did I mess up my makeup? A little bit. Now it looks like I'm wearing eyeliner. But I've been doing braid outs and whatnot for for my hair. And that's been going great. It's been fun, honestly, this whole process of not like leaving my hair to do its own thing has been super fun. I'm just letting my eyes dry a little bit. Um, so while I do that, I think I'm gonna pump up the highlighter on my brows, like my brow bone. Um, just a little bit. So add more of that. Blend it out with my finger. You guys probably can't hear it, but my brother's playing the game. Well, both of my brothers are playing the game. Um, and one of them's really going ham. Like, he's flipping out. It's funny. Okay, so now I'm going to use this. You can use two things, actually, because I really like both of these products. So... You can use this wet and wild, uh, I can't read it anymore, but it's a wet and wild pencil 
and it is in the color neutral. It's like a peachy color. You can use this on your waterline and it looks great or you can use the Wonder pencil in the shade, well, it comes in three different shades, light, medium, and dark. I got medium because it matched my skin tone better and I'm gonna put that on my waterline. But yeah, you can use it to like highlight, um, color, like conceal, like for a perfect eyebrow shape or put in your waterline. I like to put it in my waterline because like I said, I don't like perfect eyebrows. So I'm gonna put it in my waterline now. And I use this cause it's kind of like the living doll fashion and it makes your eyes look bigger with like, out looking super fake like a, what a white eyeshadow would do so candela okay now I think I am done with my makeup super fast makeup tutorial guys um I can't think of anything else to say really um hmm let's do close-up shots shall we uh, oh, one more thing. Uh, where is my highlighting brush? I wonder where my mom grabbed it. Oh, there it is now. Now I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Color Icon Rainbow Highlighter. Sorry, it's brown right here. It's because, you know, my foundation is brown. So that typically happens. <laughs> Gonna pump up the highlighter a little bit for that cherub glow. I feel like a Wes Anderson character would wear a lot of highlight in the modern time. Trying to highlight my nose. I don't contour my nose, but I do highlight the middle so it can look longer. And yeah, guys, that is it. Super quick makeup tutorial, like I said, super quick and super fast and whatnot. So I hope you guys have a really good day and I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you guys let me know the kind of videos that you guys want to see or that you want me to film and I will definitely get to it guys. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys later.